Welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. This is your bonus read. Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to see, know, or hear at this particular time? Capricorn. Someone's healing. Ooh, somebody is really intimidated by your beauty. So a bunch of people gossiping about you. You're setting healthy boundaries. Oh, well, they're gossiping about you. They're intimidated by your beauty. <laughs> Captured by love, hard to resist. You've got somebody's undivided attention. But you kept going in circles with someone. Protect yourself. Someone is... What? There are children involved here. Someone using a child as a pawn. Or they could be staying for the children. It's unrequited. Could have been a workplace romance or something like that. <laughs> Separation. Somebody is very, they, so they're happy to have someone chase them. The runner chaser. Oh, do they know? is a habitual liar so what the hell did they win that's what I want to know you know if someone's a habitual liar and people were gossiping about you they're all intimidated by your beautifulness your handsomeness whatever this uh, one who is chasing this person it's like, oh, they've changed my life forever. That's the rose-colored glasses. That is the, what you want to see. Not what is. They're a, a habitual liar. And they're not going to change despite of who they're with. Okay, it don't matter who they're with. That's just their MO. That's how they roll. So... They're jealous of you. Somebody could be gossiping, making up shit. Maybe they want you for themselves. Something is brewing. Yeah. This third party crap. Shocking events. Your energy is all around them. What did I tell you? Look, man, when you're with a star, you got somebody with that star quality. <laughs> These are people that are beautiful from the inside out. Just all round attractive people. And you get somebody and they put you in a third party situation. Whether that be other lovers, friends, family, co-workers, whatever. People always can't stand beautiful people. They cannot. They're competing with you. This other party is competing with you. And it doesn't matter. Even if they're with someone else, your energy is all around them. 
so who's the real third party? And that's a twist for you. Huh? Who's the real third party? <laughs> you could have been with this person, but they're staying over there wherever they are. So now you're the third party because it's your energy that's all around them. <laughs> that's too funny, that is. I shouldn't laugh, but it's the truth. <laughs> you may not even be talking to this person, but you're still the third party. <laughs> you are the third party because it's your energy that's around them. It's your energy that they're attracted to. It's your energy. <laughs> you the third party. Here you are, celebrating. There, look, I told you, this person is hiding that they're angry, resentful, and burdened. They genuinely love you. That are, their feelings for you have not changed. This third party is feeling hurt because this this they know that this person has not moved on from you they're lying they're an habitual liar they're lying to themselves if they say they're not interested in you and they're lying to themselves if they say that your energy is not around them they're lying everybody's lying here they're lying to themselves they're lying to the third party the third party is lying. It's your energy. They're in love with. And they can lie as long as they want to lie. It's a lie. Even though you've had a tower with this person, their feelings for you, they see you Look, they see you as the empress. They're still in love with you. And they're like, I do not. I don't love them. I don't love Capricorn. I don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They're lying. You're getting justice here. You're being vindicated. You're healing. I told you. And they're jealous. Oh my God. So look, guys. Your person is jealous that you're being vindicated. They're jealous that you're moving on. The third party's jealous of you, whoever the third party is. Because this person is still in your, still around their energy. They know damn well that this person still thinks about you, that they haven't got on from you. And I can tell you, you are the third party. Even though this might have been your person. And they might, you might have ended the situation with them, but you're still a problem. <laughs> You're the problem. <laughs> They're pissed off. They're missing you. They could be trying to control their emotions by, like, drinking, you know, masking it, but whatever. They can try to control and manipulate, but... They might say, nah, I chose someone else. But you know what? Why do they always think of you? Well, why are you always on their mind? Why are you? Why are they always checking their phone? Why are they spying on you? Why are they trying to get info on you? Why? Because they're hurt. And this other lover is hurt. Because I told you, 
they might have been the third party, but now you are the third party. Because now that they have this person, you may not even speak to this person. You're still the third party. Because <laughs> they know this person ain't over. They know. <laughs> they know. Told you they were spying on you. They're not over you. They're competing with you. Your person is regretting it. They're stressed out. And you are healing. And... They're missing you. They're lonely. They may act cold. But why are they hurting? They keep repeating a cycle. Look, I'm telling you, this is repeating freaking information. So... You stay over here and you do you. Boo, do you. Let them play their little games. Let them judge. They're still trapped wherever they are. Because you know why? They're still holding on to you. They love you. They miss your loving. <laughs> and this third party doesn't trust because they know you brought this person happiness. I don't care. They could have gone out. They could have got someone pregnant. They could have be using a child as a pawn in some vicious game that they like to play. But I told you this person still loves you. I don't like this rejection. Oh, so they, <laughs> this is hilarious. So they could be in a whole new family. They could have a family with someone else. They could have married someone else. They could be focusing in on, you know, working on that relationship. But who are they actually working for? Who are they actually thinking about? Who are they actually doing this all for you you <laughs> you they are In their heart, it's you. They're having a uh, strife with who wherever they're at, they're having differences, they're having strikes with that person, and generally it's about you. They can say they don't till they're blue in the face. This reader don't believe them.
You got them both jealous of you. That's because you're beautiful people. You're God's favorite warriors and proof is in the pudding. Take care.